Hey Ronan, this is my motorcycle. What do you think? What do you think of my motorcycle? Does it smell funky? Is it weird? Oh, it's so weird. It's vibrating. It's cold. It's scary. The world is dark and full of terrors. Oh, oh. He's never seen my bike before, so I thought he should see it. Mm. Ronan, I'd kiss you, but there's a helmet between us. Nothing will ever come between us. Nothing. I love you. Yeah. Oh, my baby. I gotta go, baby. I'll be back as soon as I can. All right, I'm out here in the ghetto slum, otherwise known as my hometown, to wash my bike because it is nasty. I mentioned before, someone backed into me, and I think I showed the damage. It's not catastrophic, but it's a bunch of fairing damage up in here. And um, that happened like a month ago, and I was waiting for their insurance and blah, blah, blah. That finally came through, and they're going to send me a check, which is fantastic. But uh, I took it on the back of my McJeep to a shop to get an estimate for the damage. And uh, when it was on the Jeep, it was rainy and slushy nasty, so a bunch of crap got all over the bike, and it's McNasty. So I'm going to spray it real good, I hope. This is the only supposedly serviceable washing station that I know of here in my town. Get it! Oh, yeah. Oh, that's attractive. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, how oh, you like it. Normally, I would be, like, having a grand old time, taking my time, riding out here and washing this and not giving a McRip, but I have a poopy at home. And I'm like in the parental mindset. I'm like, oh, I gotta, how's he doing? Is he, is he okay? I gotta get home. Okay, is there something else I want besides soap and water? Oh, engine cleaner. I hit stop. No. 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 I rolled over the stop. Come on. No. <laughs> Screw you, Grabby Design. Come on. I just wasted two quarters. What are you, what are you stupid? Look, go! Ah! What is this? This isn't, oh, this is tire cleaner. Oh, crap. Oh, it didn't stop. This is tire cleaner. I'm an idiot. Or not tire cleaner, engine cleaner. Crap. Oh, good thing I'm an idiot. All right, bring back the rinse, bruh. Yeah, oh, 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 yeah. I took it to a car wash the other day, and even though they weren't really supposed to wash a motorcycle, they did it anyway. I think that was finally Friday 18. I haven't decided if I want to fix it, because the repairs... Even though the damage is minimal, it's gonna cost a lot of money to, oh, that doesn't look good. But I'll pretend it's a sensual addition like a smoke machine. I'm guessing it's just water vaping off of the engine and it's so cold. Oh, that's cold. It's uh, right at about freezing today, which is good because for the past few days it's been below freezing, so anything above below is welcome. Oh yeah, you were waiting for me? Sure, I'm gonna get out of your way. Cause it's all about you, Captain U Planet. Captain U Planet, trademark of Brian Regan, stand-up comedian. Always cite your sources, kids. All right, that's a lot of steam. That's attractive. Yeah, so anyway, they gave me a McCheck, and I I can fix the buy replacement parts and make it look perfect again because it was cosmetically perfect before I got bumped into. I just don't know if I'm going to do it though because it doesn't look bad. You can't really tell what's wrong with it. Unless you're like me and you've owned this bike and you know every little detail. But I, you don't, so you probably won't care. So I may not do anything to it, but I, it's nice to know that I have the option to fix it. And now that that is pretty much all out of the way as far as the accident happened, the, it's been resolved, I'll probably make a video about it. Or I mean, I, I will at some point. I recorded the hit and I'll make it a video eventually. I just don't know when. Oh, I'm so out of breath from doing this. Oh my gosh. Oh, fat. No, oh, time is against me. I have to get back to Ronan. Oh, hum. oh my gosh, I have to be back in 25 minutes, otherwise Ronan's bladder will explode. Here's the thing about Ronan, all right? He is my life, so I cannot not talk about him, okay? You just, you, if you just don't want to hear about Ronan, then just skip along the video because I gotta talk about him. So Ronan's gotten better and bigger. Bigger and better. He grew almost two pounds in the first week that I've owned him. I think it was like 1.7 pounds, something like that. And he's not fat. He's just growing, accelerated, hyper-extended science growth, you know? So it's really awesome. Like, good. Excellent. <laughs> so he's growing his muscles and his brains. He learned also, I was trying to teach him to go in his room, his cage. You know, tell him we'll call him cage. It's his room. So I'm like, Ronan, room. He's like, oh, I love the room. You know why? Because I think I'm going to get a treat whenever I go in there. And... So he's, he's getting better, and he will sleep in his room even if I don't ask him to, which is wonderful. 
so he's doing extra super good. It didn't take him very long for him to start sleeping through the night. Now he only gets up about once or twice. Whenever I wake him up, he doesn't wake me up, which is awesome. Now, I'm convinced he's a good dog. I'm convinced he's better than most, but he still has his puppy problems. And it's, we're, we're trying to work on communication. You know, he's like a roommate. We just need to learn to communicate. We're getting along. Ah, come on. I'm not out of fuels. Let me see this here. That's wrong. 77. It says, you have a quarter tank left. Well, that means that's a lie. Ah, Frank, fine. I'll go to the McGas station. I'll go to McQuick Trip. So I took off on my Mick motorcycle, and I was just like, oh, this bike is so fast. What happened? Like, and I realized, oh, it's just I'm used to the McJeep. And it's slow when I get on here, I'm like, whoa, power! <laughs> I like power. When I do get out, which was only that one hour last week and the one hour this week, I'm just freaking. I'm like, oh, my puppy, he's, he's gonna die. I gotta get back and I gotta watch him like a hawk. So it's kind of a drag. I can't really enjoy riding. The cold isn't the biggest factor. The cold doesn't bug me really compared to my worriness. My puppy, I'm just thinking about him all the time. 42, that's not bad at all. It was freezing when I left and now it's up to 42. That's fantastic. It's 10 degrees warmer. I'm gonna go because you're stopping and the, the arrow is yellow which makes it legal. <laughs> I think that's legal. I was watching a McMoto vlog by Do It with Dan. I was watching. He's like, I want to go out right now. That's what I'm gonna do with my life. Ronan, I know you need me in life, but the motorcycle needs me too. So I, I was watching him. It was a recent one i think it was called the magna is gone or magna's gone he mentioned me in it i was really flattered he was talking about how i do voices and i was like oh that's flattering he remembered yeah he was talking about when I, we were hanging out in mc texas a couple months ago for the texas moto vlogger meetup and um about the voices i did i remember that time because we were staying up late laying around talking about life and work and relationships <laughs> and legitimate intimate things <laughs> and uh i we, we we connected when we were there because i just started being stupid and courting the youtube videos that i love and he happened to know what they were i was courting das bo shit i was doing the duke nukem character i got stuff to do goldblum i don't remember his exact lines but suddenly he's like oh you know that i'm like yes i know that and he's like ah, and we're just we became buds it was really magical so, yeah, special times happened. And I felt special for Dan mentioning my voices and that he liked them and made me happy. Thanks, Dan. And because, Dan, if you watch this, buddy, I'll do another voice for you that you thought was good, the Christopher Walken. So I'll just, I'll make up something. You know, God, I just, I need gas in my tank. When you put gas in your, your bike, it's got to be 91 higher. Because, God, I have <laughs> Christopher Walken, I don't know, man. Do it with Dan. Put that in your intro. <laughs> you gotta do it with Dan. Hey, guess what? Chase on two wheels proposed to his girlfriend finally. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna spotlight it because I love it. It was adorable and manly. Uh, so Chase, motovlogger. If you don't know who he is and you don't you don't know what motovlogging is, he proposed to his girlfriend. And come on, you asshats! I, I just want to land split all of you mother heifers. It's like, I, they all are past me while I have my turn signal on. Dang it! I'm so mad for no, oh, no good reason. I, oh, you know, because in the, by the end, at the end of the day, I'm faster than all these cars. And if I wanted to, I could. That's power. It's just knowing you could do something, but choosing not to. That's power. I have power! Y'all suck Donkey Kong. All right, I feel better. Chase proposed to his girlfriend. He made a video of it, and it was wonderful. And I would like you guys to watch it. Obviously, you don't have to because American freedom. But if you want to, you can. I want people to know about it because it's great. So the link for that will be in the description. Speaking of links in the description, there's always key tags available, always. If you guys don't know about my Instagram, it's Walterific underscore online. I put stuff on there occasionally because I can. All right, I'm quitting. I'm going home. I don't know how to say goodbye. So, all right. Goodbye, guys. Thanks for watching.